Hello everyone and welcome to my studio. My name is Tom Brown and today I'm going to be showing you the process of how I made this miniature ice cream freezer. So I started with these two threaded aluminum jars which I purchased and they fit nicely uh, one inside of the other which is one of the key components of an ice cream freezer. And you can see here that that wire is a bike spoke and bike spokes are one of the um, main materials that I use when I'm working in miniature because they have a small threaded end on them. So they're almost like a miniature uh, nut and bolt. And this is a flat aluminum stock which I'm cutting a small piece off of to make the paddle. Out of. Now using my calipers, I measure out where I'm going to cut the channels to create the paddles. You'll notice over the course of this video, as I improve my method of working with this uh, benchtop vise that I just made that day. <laughs> Um, so sometimes we improvise while we're working on projects like this and unexpected improvements can happen. So after drilling out the rough channels with a drill bit, I'm now using small needle files and chainsaw files to widen out the holes and correct the profile. Another thing you'll notice here is the camera shape, which I didn't notice until after I was done filming. And on one hand, I kind of like it because it communicates the actual force that I'm using to get these files to cut, but later in the video I did figure out a new way of filming which uh, eliminates much of that camera shape. So let me know in the comments below if you, uh, if you like the tactile, tactile visceral nature of it or if you prefer a smooth shot. So now we're finished filing and I'm going to use my jeweler saw to cut a small channel in one of the paddles just to create more, uh, more room for the actual ice cream to flow through the paddle. And there we have it. So now I'm going to use this 1 8 inch drill bit to uh, drill a center hole going up the paddle.
So now I'm going to begin assembling and test fitting all of the components. The bike spoke, the paddle, and the two aluminum containers. First step is making sure that the paddle can rotate freely on the inside of the smaller container. Next, measuring the depth for how long my central shaft needs to be. Bend it at the bottom so that the bent part of the wire can fit into a notch that I've cut at the bottom of the paddle. And this will allow me to transfer any sideways movement from the central shaft to the paddle. Now one aspect of working with the bike spoke is that the threaded side is slightly thicker than the other side. So in this case, I need to work the threads through the paddle in order to get it to seat nicely on the bent part at the bottom. together uh, quite nicely. So now I'm using the um, female part of the bike spoke to create uh, miniature nuts that I'll use to fasten the handle to the top of the central shaft. creating a small rivet out of brass. Now using my drill to uh, very simply turn a nice profile for the handle. I do have a, a larger lathe, but it's not always practical to set that up. Sometimes it's easier just to use a drill.
me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions for things you'd like to see me make or future improvements that you'd like to see in these videos. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching.